So before we dive into my first impressions of this latest Warhammer title, I want to take you back on a journey to October 31st, 1996, when we saw the release of Twisted Metal 2 Well Tour. No one will be safe. I promise you that. Good luck, driver. Welcome to Twisted Metal. Do you remember Twisted Metal? And no, I'm not just talking about that TV series with Anthony Mackie, which is also awesome. That is based on the Twisted Metal games. But I'm talking about the PlayStation 1 game from the 90s. I was introduced to the series on the second game, and it was almost like a rite of passage. Whether you were trying to outmaneuver Sweet Tooth's ice cream truck, or praying that your friend wouldn't pick Minion again, because let's face it, they were just cheating at that point, those games left a lasting impression. There was definitely something thrilling about the sheer madness of it all, driving around in these ridiculously over-the-top vehicles, each one brimming with firepower. I spent countless hours with Twisted Metal 2 World Tour, and by the time Twisted Metal Black hit the PS2, I was practically living for that twisted dark atmosphere and the intense combat. Even Twisted Metal Head On, which released later on the PSP, kept me glued to the screen as I took my vehicular destruction on the go. The games were brutal, unapologetic, and most importantly, they were fun as hell. So here I am, many, many, many years later, with fond memories of those games still etched in my brain, wondering if anything could ever fill that void. Enter Warhammer 40k Speed Freaks, a game that caught my eye because, let's be honest, who doesn't want to drive a ramshackle orc vehicle through a post-apocalyptic wasteland while blowing things up? It's like Twisted Metal, but with more DACA and a lot more green. Now, when it comes to the gameplay and controls, let's just talk about how this one stacks up. After spending the weekend uh, streaming it recently, I can confidently say it scratches that vehicular combat itch pretty well. The game captures the same kind of adrenaline pumping chaos that made Twisted Metal so special. And you've got these crazy over-the-top vehicles, each with their own weapons and abilities, and the objective is simple. Obliterate everything in your path while racing to the finish line. It's fast, it's frantic, and it's a whole lot of fun. Oh yes! But just like in the old days, you've got to choose your controls wisely. I did start out initially with the controller thinking it would give me the nostalgic feel, but I quickly switched to the keyboard and mouse. Trying to aim and drive with a controller did feel like a bit like trying to juggle chainsaws. Exciting, but ultimately not very practical. With keyboard and mouse, you get the precision you need to blast enemies while keeping your ride on the road, or off of it, depending on how reckless you're feeling. The visuals in Speed Freaks are a real treat. It doesn't go for the hyper-realism that so many modern games chase, but it nails the gritty, chaotic aesthetic of the Warhammer 40k universe. The landscapes are rugged and war-torn. The vehicles look like they were slapped together by a mad mechanic with a taste for destruction. And the explosions, oh the explosions, are a sight to behold. It's everything you want from a game like this, without melting your GPU. If your rig is even remotely modern, you should be able to run this game smoothly. Now, when we look at the rides, Speed Freaks gives you a selection of vehicles that each bring their own flavor of carnage to the battlefield. And just here is a quick rundown of some of the ones I got my hands on when I was playing. The Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon is all about chaotic, high octane combat. It unleashes relentless barrage of bullets at a blistering speed, sacrificing accuracy for sheer firepower. And if things do get too hot, the billowing fumes ability floods the engines with smoke, creating a thick, blinding trailer that hides your name tag and your health bar, allowing you to escape or set up an ambush with ease. Next up you have the Custom Booster Blaster. Now this one's all about speed and chaos. If you're the one who likes to zip around the map causing mayhem, this is definitely your ride. It's very fast, it's deadly, and it's perfect for making hit and run attacks before your enemies know what hit them. And then there's the Shock Jump Dragster. This vehicle is definitely all about combining that speed with the long range firepower. It's perfect for those moments when you want to stay out of the fray, but still dish out some serious damage. Think of it as a sniper rifle on wheels, but with a lot more attitude. And finally, I also got to try out my personal favorite, the Grot Mega Tank. My 
this lumbering behemoth was a blast to play. And if you're looking for something a bit more forgiving, it's definitely a worthy pick. It's tough, it's packed with Daka, and it can take a beating while you control the battlefield. Now for someone like myself who's due to this game, or just you're just looking for a cause a lot of chaos without worrying too much about blowing up every five seconds, the mega tank is a dream. Does Speed Freaks fill the twisted metal void for me? I think it does. Especially as a free-to-play game, sure. It's not without its quirks. I'd love to see more customization options, maybe the ability to build your own vehicles from scratch, and a few extra game modes wouldn't hurt. But what's there is solid and frantic fun. If you're looking for a game where you can channel your inner orc, race through the apocalyptic wastelands, and blow up your enemies with wild abandon, then Warhammer 40k Speed Freaks might just be your new obsession. Just remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war and a lot of rage. That's it for today's first impressions of Speed Freaks. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this game and what your favorite vehicle is. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more gaming content. Check out other videos on the channel where I cover content from the likes of Star Citizen to indie games, horror, other walkthroughs, and highlights from my Twitch stream. Thanks for watching, and until the next time, keep speedy, keep it orky. I have once again been a professional gamer. That's a wrap. <laughs>